Ukraine's upcoming spring counteroffensive will aim to drive a wedge into the Russian front in the south between Crimea and mainland Russia, Vadim Skibitsky, deputy head of Ukrainian military intelligence, said. Skibitsky said he thinks Ukraine will be ready for its counteroffensive in the spring but said the exact moment it begins would depend on a number of factors, including the supply of Western weapons. He did not rule out striking arms depots in Russia, particularly in Russia's Belgorod Oblast, saying that Russian attacks on Ukraine often originate from the Belgorod area. The ultimate goal of the announced counteroffensive, according to Skibitsky, is to liberate all the occupied territories of Ukraine, including Crimea. We will stop only when we restore the country to the borders of 1991. The Ukrainian military reported repelling 71 Russian attacks over the past 24 hours in northeastern and eastern Ukraine, the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces wrote in its morning update. Ukraine repelled the attacks near Kupiansk in eastern Kharkiv Oblast, located not far from Luhansk Oblast and Lyman, Bakhmut, Advaika, and Shakhtarsk in Donetsk Oblast, where, according to the general staff, Russia is concentrating its main offensive efforts. The general staff also reported that Russia launched 14 missile strikes, 19 airstrikes, and 57 attacks from rocket salvo systems over the past day, inflicting casualties among the civilian population. On February 25, Russian forces launched attacks on the city's civilian infrastructure using missiles, multiple launch rocket systems, and tanks, injuring one. Russia has launched its latest offensive in Ukraine's east, mainly in Donetsk Oblast, in an attempt to lay claim to the entire oblast, partly occupied by Russia in 2014 and further in 2022. Russian-backed proxy militias and private mercenary groups, such as the notorious Kremlin-backed Wagner Group, have been aiding Russian regular forces in the area and have incurred major losses. The general staff said the threat of Russian launching missile strikes remains high throughout Ukraine.